Hello guys, good day and welcome to Joso. My name is Edwin and today I'll be showing you how to map out a large area of land using the Pix4D Capture application. So do well to follow us on all our social media platforms, subscribe to our YouTube pages, Joso Limited, for more videos and share to your friends and colleagues. So thank you very much and let's proceed to the exercise. Okay, so like I said before, I'm going to be showing you how to plan your drone flights for a large area of land. So let's quickly start. So what we'll do is to we'll create a project in our project list. Click on this plus sign. Let's use project one as a title. So we we'll open the project we created and we'll create a mission inside that project. But before we do that, let's import the KMF file. That's the file that has the boundary of the area we want to plan so just quickly load that this is it here part one so this is our kml file and this is the boundary we want to plan our drone flight for so just create the mission over that boundary okay so we already have something like this so let's quickly reset and rescale you can zoom in to have a clear view and in planning your drone flight make sure there is a good amount of setback from the boundary so that you can capture the whole boundary Okay, so I finished planning the flights for the whole boundary. I'll quickly change the flying altitude to 19 meters above the ground. So we've done that. But the issue we had is at the top of the screen, you can see it is telling us a notification that it's too large, meaning the drone can capture the whole area in one mission. So what we did was to share into two parts you can share into four you can share into three depending on the size of your area for this one we have our area is about 41 hectares of land so we shared into two giving us about 20 hectares and about 21 for the second part so we we'll just quickly do share it into two and plan the flight for that so let's save this so it has been saved to go back to our project to create another project project 2 click on ok we open the project before we create a mission let's import the KML for the part 1 we already have it here on our device so we just navigate to the place import it so this is the KML for the part 1 so now we can create a mission over the part 1 so we we'll just quickly adjust this to cover the part one so that I can map it let's zoom in okay so this is it for the part A as you can see it's no longer showing that the area is too large so we can quickly save this Go to go back to our project, create a new project, project 3, open the project 3, loading the KML for the project part 2. So this is the KML for the part 2. Then we'll create a mission. Let's quickly bring this down to this resize. Okay, 
Okay, so we'll finish planning for the part two. So we'll save that as well. So we have the project one, which is the total area that was too large. Then we have our project two, which is the part A that we've mapped out so we can now fly the drone for this if after doing all your setup and everything you click on start to fly your drone so after this after finish flying for the part one you can come to the part two which is project three open it and also click on start to fly your drone after all the other setup so this is just basically how to map out a large area of land and mind you after finish when you finish flying your drone you import your images to your computer as you can see the the top of the part b is the bottom of the part a so there is overlap on the area we mapped so when you import your images to your laptop or to your computer system the images is also overlap as one image so you don't have issues of the two being separate images it's going to be one so that's how to map the large area of using the pixel the app so thank you very much and have a wonderful day